When I saw the instructions here, the cigar box crystal radio set, and read about the plans developed here by Joseph Cooper, uh, VE3FMQ, I got very excited about the simplicity of this radio for the pos potential of teaching children um, how, how to make a radio and about RF characteristics. What really struck me here is he says one striking benefit uh, using a loop for an antenna is the elimination of the need for ground connection. And as a young crystal radio uh, maker when I was a, a kid I realized to get a good ground one needs about a 12 foot copper rod driven into the ground. It's very difficult. It's almost a a barrier to making this exciting thing, especially for a classroom. There's no way in a classroom when you're teaching a group of 12 kids to make a radio that to do this. And the other uh, aspect is these long wire antennas on the outside. That can't be done in a classroom. So when I saw this and I saw this picture here, this is called a very earnest young man in a cigar box radio. I said this is uh, got to be the perfect um, the, the perfect project to start kids into electronics and I saw the simplicity of the circle uh, circuit in a cigar box and uh, and then finally if one takes a look at this radio circuit which is in the very back it's about one of the simplest radio circuits to to make for the very first time and it can actually demodulate uh, AM bands. It's got a loop, it's got a, a variable resistor, it's got a diode and some earphones. What's not shown here is if this is a piezoelectric earphone you need to have a, a resistor there. So very very few uh, components. So in 2005 I used this for a science project and this is what the kids made. Um, of course, now it's pretty hard to get cigar boxes, but you can get uh, cigar, cigar boxes from Michael's for projects. And that's what I did. Bought a, a dozen of these. And the advantage of that is if each kid gets their own cigar box, they're always different shapes, sizes, different diameters. So, And it's a very simple construction. Here is the two post for the earplug and here's the dial and it's based on a inductor coil a loop antenna around the outside of it and on the inside a few components which requires very little bit of soldering here's the diode here's the variable resistor the inductors on the outside and that's it, except I put a 47K, 47,000 ohm resistor here to uh, match the impedance to the electronic device. And then this is supposed to have been easily done with, this is called a piezoelectric, um, piezoelectric ear, earphone. So this is uh, the project that we did for for students and it's what the discussion is so so hi I'm uh, Dr. Kenneth K. Brown PhD in biomedical sciences with a postdoctorate degree in electrical engineering technology and also certified as a project management professional PMP with 50 years of laboratory of experience I've been teaching children for 28 years, gifted children in the Super Saturday program in Cincinnati. And I teach science through uh, inspirational science projects. 
because when I was a kid my parents converted the garage into a laboratory for me and that's how I got started. Uh, that's I feel like learning around the practical application and then modeling the theory to fit the practical application uh, is a very motivational way of learning. So my, my goal is to teach uh, awe and wonder and science projects to teach science. So let's go back to this project here. Um, relatively easy for 10 and 11 year olds and and so we take this uh, piezoelectric earphones which is three dollars and fifty cents so it's a reasonable lab fee too and I, and I put it on here and uh, plug it in and it's supposed to be able to pick up uh, local AM stations but when I did this reproduction of, um, of Cooper's project, it doesn't work. I don't hear a thing. And so I wonder, did I make the circuit wrong? What went wrong here? To test it out, I then turned to, at that time, Radio Shack, which isn't popular now, but almost most of the parts used to come from Radio Shack had this little amplified speaker with a 9 volts produce about 750 milliwatts of power out and uh, what I decided to do was to uh, test this with an amplified speaker and I put this uh, in place of the earphone And I was surprised. Now, the radio works. It's just, uh, and maybe this area, maybe it's the Cincinnati area, but I'm not too far from a big, uh, relatively good sized city. Um, but with an amplified speaker, it could work. And he also, uh, so the exciting thing was I didn't need an antenna. Well, I also have an antenna. This is for an amateur radio s system. I'm N8LZM. I like amateur radio. So above the house is a uh, wire radio. And what happens if you put that on? It really amplifies it even better. So I get one. Two. These are three well-resolved radio stations, if I do an antenna, but that antenna we couldn't use in, in the classroom. But without the antenna, uh, we can do this. So for that class, uh, we worked with this, and I actually generated uh, a AM station in the classroom and transmitted uh, Morse codes and introduced them to digital communication. So that's 2005, and from that I had in 2011 we did another uh, class in which I took the same thing, but this time we had the kids cut holes in here and embedded the the uh, speaker and the box, and the, this is a wooden box also from Michael. It's a little bit sturdier and we can put light feet at the bottom so it can stand up. So this is something I think they, they could keep for a long time. This was built in 2011. So I turn this one on. And this one's picking up. One station, just like this. This student happened to be artistic, so and had to design it. And then if we again, if we put on the antenna, pick up at least three stations in this area. And so it's a good way to introduce the concepts. And of course you can go into all the details about ductance, capacitance, resonance, 
um, the diode, the rectifier, AM modulation, some of the basic concepts. As they build this, you can introduce those concepts to the students. All additional content, including all nine lessons of Financial Fusion University, as well as... And um, here's one that's less decorated, same era, and with a wrapping around here and I believe this is easy for a 10 or 11 year old a young student or a, a, a young teenager or a middle school student can do that so the next class up I'm still not happy with this and since the advent these I looked up one of these Radio Shack amplifiers now and they're selling my eBay Wow, I've seen one for $60.70. That's ridiculous. Um, there's no way under uh, lab fees are $50 for six weeks. So we wanted to keep the project in within that scope. Um, so, but since then, I've found uh, on Chinese have these little LM386 amp audio amplifier circuits for $3. And I ordered some of those. So this is the 2005 model. This is the 2011 model. Um, and I think a lot of the people that really get serious, uh, more serious, and want to develop their radios farther will work on an external antenna in ground. Um, the next step is trying to get this to work with a piezoelectric earphone and I've come across articles with a, a ferrite rod that might replace the external loop and pull in a strong enough signal so that with this very first um, type of circuit with a minimalistic uh, approach uh, will, will work. So that is the Cigar Box Radio Project and its status. The original project didn't work for a classroom activity for me in this area with radio signals, not with an earphones, but with an amplified circuit it picked up a station. However, with an antenna it picks up three stations um, and with a loud amplification. And I think the future might be to explore cheaper uh, audio amplifiers, keep this going, or I'm, you can get some very, very cheap uh, magnesium, manganese, zinc, ferrite rods to make an antenna to put in here, which has a greater uh, ability to pull in radio waves. And my, the next goal after this is to try a ferrite rod in there uh, for that. I hope you en uh, enjoy the project. Um, I think uh, uh, the simplicity is great for kids. Uh, and I think picking up, making their own radio that can pick up radio stations is pretty cool. And I, I hope they enjoy it.